up? Good morning. Good morning there, you too. Um, we are hopefully stopping that left lane. Okay. Hey, yeah. Oh, the tire. Wow. That old gator in the middle of the road. Tire. Tire. Uh, what do you call it? Tire remnants. Remnants from a tire. But anyway, good morning. I know it's been a minute. I'm going to go home, got home Sunday morning about um, 11 o'clock or so. Came in, went right to work on my daughter's car. I uh, changed the vessel now. One of her bleeder valves on the left rear was stripped. So I had to bleed the lines around that, but it got on. It took me a little minute to do it. But anyway. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 2nd of March. I'm heading down to Laxahatchee for my, my pickup from Oklahoma. And uh, do that. They had me on a load going back up to Davenport, Florida. We did in between uh, Orlando and Tampa. It's an auction yard there going up to Conley, Georgia, which is southeast of Atlanta. Off 675 over in that area, but um, yeah, they took me off that load. So I don't know what I got going next. I was picking up an RG and um, a low boy, you know, and doing that. So I was getting thought I was getting back on my my heavy loads, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. You know, they may have something bigger, better for me. Anyway, I just wanted to come to y'all for a minute. We're on 75 South. I took a different route. I came down to 75. I was trying to film the um, the Skyway Bridge, but it was just too dark. It was too dark. It was foggy out as well. And all the lights were blinding. So, uh, I'm on 75 now. I'm going to get on uh, Highway 70 or Florida 70. State Route 70 and going. I'm going to go straight eastbound over to the uh, turnpike. Uh, just to go a different way because I didn't just didn't want to go across four and head down that part of the uh, 417 to the turnpike. 417 is the toll road. So we're just going straight down um, 75 south, State Route 70 going east to the turnpike. Should be there by it's here 10 o'clock. So. We shall see. We shall see. I'll give y'all a little bit of footage going across 70 over to the turnpike. And we'll see what March 2nd brings to us. We'll be back.
job, my MOS. So they ended up going to truck him. So for me, it was a different route. But when I went in, into it, Fort Leonard, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, you know, it, it was, I don't know, it was, it was basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, then I went to my, uh, what do you call it? Ah, shoot. AIT, Advanced Individual, individual Training. And, and I did five weeks there, whatever, and then I, when I got overseas to Germany, we had a little bit more training, but then you were in the truck. So I, I hear a lot of the lingo and a lot of different things that I hear, whatever, you know, some things that are federally regulated, like the 34-hour uh, reset. Oh, and I want to correct some of my younger ones, but I can't directly correct them because they don't say something or whatever. You know, you months ago, weeks ago, months ago, years ago, or whatever, but I laugh about it because I think some things they should know, you know, as far as the terminology and what it really means and where it comes from, and, you know, when it comes to DOT stuff, all that, for the most part, is federally regulated, but the states get a little bit more uh, in-depth. You know, each state can do their own thing when it comes to the trucking part of it, but when it comes to getting your CDL license, you know, that is a standard based on federal regulations. The states may require different things for you to do, but there is a standard. But uh, anyway, I just think it's, look, you know, it, it's funny to me, whatever. Not that I know everything. No, 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 no. Because I, you know, I've only done, I've only put a, a van trailer, which is what you see on the road mostly, maybe four or five times in my life. And most of that's been here. This company. I've done more flat bedding and, uh, and, and low boy or heavy haul than anything else. I take that back. I done. I did. I did fuel as well. I did fuel overseas. I did fuel here uh, when I got back. You know, but I, I pull ammo. I pull personnel. I used to drive buses over in Germany. You know, for the local community, whatever. I was driving. I was where I was. I was in Mannheim. Uh, so I pulled. We had a an army bus, you know, you know, just went around in different bags and picking up people and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it was, uh, and sometimes I did drive for the actual community I was in. I drove their bus and I pulled some of the, uh, uh, took some of the special needs kids to their, uh, for some of their field trips or whatever. But, um, you know, just, you know, I, I just hear things that I chuckle because I'm like, know that or that that doesn't mean that you know but I, I hear some of my older guys or whatever and I, you know I'm 49 about to be 50 so I don't know I, I guess I'm in the middle or close to the end I don't know shoot but anyway I just think it's hilarious sometimes when I hear stuff or whatever all I can do is just uh, okay <laughs> because you know anyway I, I, I appreciate everybody that's on YouTube trying to enlighten Especially young folks, because they're giving their experiences or whatever. And they, maybe if this was around when I first came out, I may have been doing. Some, I may have been on operator by now. You know, I, I still desire that, but my fear is I may be too old. And, you know, and, you know. In the Bible, it says your ladder is better than your former. So I just try to, uh, you know, believe that I still may do it. You know, but. Uh, but the information a lot of them give out as far as their experiences or whatever, people that are coming up and want to get into this profession, I think it's paramount because folks will understand what they're getting into. There we go, it's clean it up. But folks will, will know what they're getting into. You know, I, I made bump docks at the end of my career because flat bedding and heavy haul is stressful on the body. You know, I see guys out here 60, 70 years old tarping loads. I'm 49, and I'm still in pretty good shape, but I don't ever want to do that at 65, 70 years old. I just, I just, let me just bump a doc if I'm able to, you know. But uh, not saying that's easy, but it's, it's, it's not as stressful, I, you know. And uh, I don't know, we'll see, you know, we'll see. But I just thought I'd come to y'all and talk to you for a bit while I was going through that fall, because that was getting to be a little boring. That's stressful as well, but um, anyway, we'll get on down this road. I, I was going to make a right on 20, US 27 up there, but 
that the rate I'm going is going to be in my sight too early, so I'm going to head on over to uh, Fort Pierce and probably slide and get me a little breakfast or something. I got hungry this morning. I don't know why. I really didn't eat anything yesterday. I, eat, uh, I had some Taco Bell. But uh, give me a little breakfast over here in the pilot. Do my 30 minute break. I really don't need to right now, but. Oh, no, I'll see how long it takes me to get there. But uh, I got a 10 o'clock appointment. Actually, between 10 and 2, I was trying to get there at 10, but the rate I'm going, I'm going to be there between 9 and 30 and 10. I don't want to be there too early sitting around waiting, burning up my clock. Anyway. I will holler at you all a little later. All right, good people. We got that offloaded. I'm ready to see this little fort lift. They took them all well. Right now, we're going to head back to Orlando. And uh, yeah. start heading north anyway on the turnpike. Let's see if we can get out here and do some, get some miles under our belt. We got about our, uh, let's see here. Tell me nothing, huh? Uh, let's see, got about 156 miles. Construction ahead. Ah, uh, yeah. To Orlando, so. Not bad, but anyway, it's not really going on right now. Uh, Right now, here in East on 441. Oh, what? All right, you two. We are on 441 South, heading over to the Turnpike. And um, heading to Orlando. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm picking up a trailer or keeping this trailer. Hopefully, I'm picking up an RG and low boy. Get back into moving some of these bigger loads. Now that I don't have any any uh, doctor's commitment to um, at home right now. Next one I got is in September. And that'll be my annual physical. Uh, here on this road, you know, yeah, we get a DOT physical every one. Well, you can get them as short as every three months if you got some kind of condition. Like I think I told you all about the. My heart situation uh, back in December. As far as uh, my blood pressure being stroke level, and seriously, I'm not saying that just to be facetious, um, but you know, it was 191, I think over 111, 110, something like that. Um, but that was my fault. I mean, it came down to 160 over 90, but it was still, yeah, 160 over 90. It was still too high for DOT. Um, standards but uh, I have they only once I got everything taken care of they only gave me a one year DOT uh, physical um, I guess constraints or whatever I can't I can get the normal two year I had to get the one years but once, once I go back in December I'm sorry once I go back yeah my um, I don't have to go back again to December of this year so I should get a two year at the end of this year. When I went to the doctor on Monday, yeah, I did have my checkup on the new medication I'm taking. Uh, and you know, the 122, 122 over 62. And my doctor came, once he was briefed on my, he said I lost 10 pounds since the last time I seen him. I think I was 235, I was 225. And the blood pressure was on point. He came through the door skipping. My doctor, Dr. Jorge Cadilla, good deal. You know, he, he take he, he take very good care of me and my family. I got them there. He's one of those doctors. He studies on you before he come in to talk to you. 
and you know he was ecstatic because he was very very worried about me and rightfully so i mean i was being kind of careless but um you know everything was on point with that but you got to get your physicals i mean get your annual physicals get your dot physicals you know get them when you're supposed to get them because being on this road and, and one of my fears or hang-ups, I don't even know what to call it a fear or not, but I don't want to be in a truck stop dead and nobody find me for a couple days. I don't want that for my wife or my children, especially especially if it was preventable. Now, if it's something like getting shot in the truck or something, whatever, that's on whoever did that. But as far as me taking care of myself, I got to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And that's taking my medication easy. He said everything stayed the same because he kept me on my same medication, which I didn't want him to, but hey, I, I got to do what he asked me to do um, before the next uh, six months to my next checkup. Then at that point, we'll reevaluate if everything stayed the same. Uh, you know, reevaluate on titrating me off of what I'm taking right now. I don't like taking pills. No, don't like taking them at all. Uh, I suffer through it. Even with this, when they gave me the pain pills, I didn't. I didn't take them. Did not take them. It hurt. It hurt like crazy. My bad, that you too. My phone got hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, had to, I don't know why. It's not that. I, well, I don't know. I can't say that. Anyway, it's charging as well, so it could be part of it. But uh, yeah. I, Oh yeah. Even on my, my first Achilles surgery, which was on my right leg, I, uh, I, I severed that Achilles playing basketball. And I mean, it just snapped. I thought I got, I actually thought I got jumped. I thought somebody hit me in the back of the leg with a, a bat or something. I mean, it, it was, when they say it's like a shotgun going off inside your body, that's exactly what it was. I thought somebody had, had, had just shot me or hit me very, very hard in the back of the leg. And I mean, the foot was just, because was, there was nothing bringing it back up. You know, so I had no control over it, really. And uh, my sons were 15 years old. They had just gotten their learners. Both of them, and wow. They had never seen me in any kind of pain. And they were, <laughs> it was just funny now, but it wasn't, you know, I guess, well, I guess it was funny right after, but they, they were really concerned because they had never seen me. I wasn't in, you know, screaming pain, but, uh, you know, just a lot, a lot of discomfort. Uh, let's see, I got to get up here to the left a little bit. Come on, car, come on. And uh, they had to help me to my, my navigator, and, uh, and then Miami, oh, shoot, I need, I need to go north. I don't need to go south, I'm sorry. It's that one. Anyway, it's that light. But I uh, got me to the doctor, to the hospital and all that kind of, well one drove me home and he stayed home and then the other one drove me to the hospital. And uh, you know, got all dressed up. I shouldn't even tell this part of the story. My wife, she loves to mess with me while I don't sleep or whatever, and I think I okayed it and I went to sleep, but she painted my freaking toenails. If I'm not mistaken, it was purple. And she's always been messing with me about something like that, but I'm not okay to do it. You know, but I think I was tired, and this had to be either the night before or whatever. It was on a Friday, that was a Friday night, I, I got hurt that Saturday. And she did it. And, low, and it was on my right foot. She didn't do both feet, just the right foot. And that's the one I hurt. And that's the one when I got to the uh, emergency room. I know the nurses and the doctor looking at me like, why are your toes purple? Your, your toenails purple or whatever. And I, you know, and my son, we had, we had a big laugh about it. But, um, but even with that, I didn't take the, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I took the pain pills that go right. That was my first time, and it hurt like crazy. But uh, after 
when I, two years later? Yeah, well, either two or three years later, I popped the other one, my left one. But that one was only a, um, a partial tear. So I still was able to move my foot some. And I was able to, I, did I drive myself home that time? If I'm not mistaken, I drove myself home. I can't remember. Anyway, but I did, you know, after the surgery and all that kind of stuff. And I went back to work. I had it on that weekend. I think I had to wait till like that Wednesday of the following week to get looked at by an orthopedic surgeon. I was on out of work for a week. I, I had surgery that, that following week. And, uh, all right, there and ended up, uh, I had four days, like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That Monday, I was back at work both times. I wasn't out long. That was a Anyway, um, you know, that threw me off there. They didn't find a tag on my son's pad. I guess she hadn't put it all in yet. But I didn't take the pay bills. I'm just not a field taker. You know, even when I have a cold, when I was younger, I would go sweat it out at the basketball court or whatever, or go jogging, whereas now I just suffer through it. Especially that I'm on, the, on over the road. I won't, you know, I haven't had a real bad cold or anything like that in a long time. I did, when did that happen? December of 2018, I had, a, I caught the flu. I had a 104 temperature in this truck. And stupid me, I, was, I fought through it for about a day or so, and I finally I just had to, you know, get to a, uh, get to a hospital bed at home. But other than that, I, I don't get sick. I have good genes. My mom and dad, they didn't get sick much. Uh, I, don't, I put it like this, I don't ever remember my dad going to the hospital for anything. You know, my mom, if she went to the hospital, it was for a surgery, it wasn't for anything. Uh, Cardiovascular-wise, lung-wise, kidney-wise, she passed some pancreatic cancer, uh, but, or complications of it, however you want to call it. But other than that, then, anyway, I know this video is getting long here. I'm, uh, I just got on the turn by heading north. I am going to uh, get on down the road here, but I'll holler at you all later on. Just take care of yourselves out there. You know, listen to your body. Don't be like me and think you're Superman. Some people know what that means. Anyway, I'll we'll talk at you later. All right, YouTube. Um, made it up here to St. Augustine, Florida. About six miles from my drop in the morning I'm just dropping off a trailer heading back Bob Hill Bob Tilling back down to our Orlando yard and uh, actually not our yard it's a trailer yard uh, somebody hold on to some trailers for us so I'm going to go pick up another one bring it back up here and then we'll see if we can get out of Florida tomorrow or Thursday at the latest I hope so if not I go home for the weekend and then we're going to try to get out next week um, but other than that it's been a pretty good day uh, so we got unloaded down in um, Laxahatchee, Florida around 11 o'clock and then 11, 11.30 somewhere in there made way to Orlando dropped that trailer, picked up another trailer around the corner and came here so let's see we did you have 4 hours and 37 minutes of remaining drive time. Says I did 500 miles a day. Don't feel like it, but okay. I guess so. 500 miles in 9 hours and 22 minutes, whatever that is. Less than 6 miles an hour, I know that. Anyway. Uh, that'll be good. Continue to be good. Truck drivers... I got any drivers out there listening. I ain't got but a few subscribers, but 
man, we, we got to, we got to figure this thing out and get professional again because it's, it's getting ridiculous out here. Because we're getting blamed for everything. Like I said in an earlier video, they go they start putting these speed limiters on here and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, I'll be out of the out of the truck by then. But right now, I mean, we're not looking professional at all. But I um, just got you know, there's too many things going on. Driving speed to the dock on truck stops. You know, it just don't make any sense. Why are you doing 15 to 20 mile an hour around here? If not more than that sometimes, then you're backing up like you, have, like you don't have good sense. But anyway, I digress. It's the end, end of the day or whatever. I'm gonna go probably up here to the pilot. Not up here, but I'm at a pilot right here at 305. And, um, my bad, it's my turn pretty close behind me. Right here at 305 and I'm gonna, uh, Go ahead and give me something to eat, I guess. I don't know. Edit some videos because I'm behind about four or five days, I think. So I should have a couple videos out here in the, next, in the morning, at least two. One may be split because I think it's a long one. Anyway, we'll catch up with you all later. Y'all be good to one another. Treat somebody like you want to be treated. Smile at somebody. Hug somebody, well not, you can't really hug, fist bump somebody, whatever might be the best thing they see and do all day. Other than that, G-Put out.